I will tell you a story of a mother, a helpless mother. This mom gave birth to two beautiful daughters. One of the daughters falls sick moments after her birth. Doctors tried everything to save her, but the baby is gravely ill. The mother holds her daughter in her arms and sings a lullaby as the daughter falls asleep for the last time. The only consolation for the mother is that maybe, just maybe, the last senses to go away as a person dies is that of hearing, and her daughter might have died somewhat peacefully listening to her mother's voice. This is the story of Kirsty, who died of sepsis last year. Yes, last year, the same time as humans were trying to perfect 3D printing organs. This infant died of a bacterial infection, a type of bacteria that was resistant to multiple antibiotics and is capable of killing millions of people. A type of bacteria that is definitely present in this room amongst us. Not just amongst us, but inside us. And will be the reason for the next pandemic. Let's find out how and why. Raise your hands if you have ever taken an antibiotic in your lifetime. As I thought, most of us. But do you know, up to half of the antibiotics prescribed could either be ineffective or unnecessary. While ineffectiveness of an antibiotic prolongs the illness of an individual, unnecessary or wrong antibiotic could lead to antimicrobial resistance, or AMR. It is predicted that every year, over 10 million people will die due to this AMR by 2050. Imagine the population greater than that of London or New York City being wiped dead in less than a year. That is the power of AMR. To understand antimicrobial resistance, let's understand what antibiotics are. Antibiotics are like small poisons that we use to kill or stop the growth of harmful bacteria. Most commonly, we take these antibiotics orally in form of tablets or liquids. Bacteria can develop resistance to these antibiotics becoming lethal and very hard to kill. To understand how bacteria develops this resistance to antibiotics, let's imagine bacterial cell as a fortified castle. The aim of the antibiotic is to find a weakness in its defense, breach the castle, and destroy it. Every single time the antibiotic fails to destroy this castle, the bacteria can learn about a new weakness in its defense. It can then evolve itself, fortifying further to make itself resistant to that antibiotic attack. We then need a different antibiotic to kill this bacteria, and there are only so many ways to destroy a castle. This is the concept of antimicrobial resistance and why antibiotics are getting less and less effective every year. Antibiotics can be differentiated into different classes depending upon where they are targeting the bacteria. Scientists' capability to find new targets have decreased significantly. The last class of antibiotics developed and approved was back in 1987. So for the past 35 years, there has been no new class of antibiotics approved. While AMR is already killing more people than HIV, malaria, or even road accidents. Antibiotic development has definitely slowed, but there are other ways to fight AMR. 
one of the best ways is to use the correct prescription using fast diagnostic tools. I myself have been working for the past seven years in the field of rapid diagnostics, developing and following technologies that will revolutionize the diagnostic space in the future. COVID has shown us what rapid diagnostics can do to fight a pandemic. The fast and accurate antibiotic prescription could lead to decrease in the illness time of an individual, shorter waiting queues outside your doctors or GPs, which, quite honestly, we can only dream of, reduction in number of unplanned hospital admissions, meaning more beds available for people with chronic illnesses and serious injuries. And finally, it will save the world trillions of dollars in unwanted healthcare expenditure, let alone reduce AMR and save us from another COVID-like lockdown. These technologies will soon enable the patient to leave the primary care with the correct antibiotic in the first visit, reducing the burden of antimicrobial resistance. While scientists are equipping us with some powerful missiles to fight AMR, there is no war that can be won without the ground soldiers. And that is us. We need to start leading this fight. We need to stop the misuse of antibiotics and decrease the development of antimicrobial resistance. So what can we do? Five major things. It is estimated that over 66% of all the antibiotics are used in animals. Antibiotics are not used to treat animals, rather they are used to stimulate their growth. Antibiotics are given to animals in large quantities, mixed with their food supplies, irrespective of the need. This increases the development of AMR in them and their surroundings like soil and water, which we all use. I mean, come on, guys. This is not yoga. You can't practice this in good faith. This is herd treatment using limited resources. We need to stop this immediately. So first, as an individual, avoid trying to buy meat which has been treated with antibiotics. The meat products are heavily mislabeled, so try to buy meat with the labelings of no antibiotics used or raised without antibiotics. This is your best chance to get a clean product. Second, maintain food hygiene. Keep your raw meat away from the rest of the food, and every time you touch it, wash your hands. Do you know about 80% of all the infectious diseases are transmitted due to poor hand hygiene? So third, wash your hands regularly, and especially after touching or petting animals. Wash your hands with soap rather than using hand sanitizers. Hand sanitizers have become very common due to COVID, but do you know they are not supposed to remove the bacteria from your hand, only kill them. Also, there are a lot of commercially available products which are substandard, ineffective, and very hard to discriminate. On the other hand, soap will not just remove germs from your hands, but harmful chemicals like pesticides or hard metals against which hand sanitizers are almost completely ineffective. But if you have to, use a hand sanitizer with high alcohol content, at least greater than 60%, and rub it on your hands till it's completely dry. Fourth, when you go to your doctor or GP, do not ask for an antibiotic. Remember, antibiotics are ineffective against flu because it is caused by viruses and not bacteria. 
If your doctor prescribes you an antibiotic, ask if it is really needed for your illness and if he is sure that that antibiotic will cure you. Once prescribed, complete the full course of antibiotics. One of the big causes of AMR is because we stop taking antibiotics just because we are feeling slightly well. Needless to say, never ever share your antibiotics with anyone. Do you need more evidence? There was a scientist called Sir Alexander Fleming, inventor of the first antibiotic, penicillin. In his Nobel lecture in 1945, Fleming warned us about AMR and the misuse of antibiotics. To quote him, he said, the time may come when penicillin may be easily bought by anyone in the shops. Then there is the danger that the ignorant man may easily underdose himself and exposing his microbes to non-lethal quantities of penicillin make them resistant. Eighty years. Aren't we experts in ignoring the red lights and warnings? Look where we have landed, 80 years from that warning. So fifth, educate people. Talk about AMR and its dangers, because this might be our best chance to win this fight. But hey, hey, don't be so disheartened. <laughs> it's not all that bad. Situation is looking a little better. Between 2011 and 2018, the sale of antibiotics for livestock fell by a third. There has been some positive development, but we are far, far behind in the fight against AMR. We are losing our loved ones every day, and it is coming to us at a tremendous cost. It is estimated that the world will lose $100 trillion every year due to AMR by 2050. To put into perspective, that is more than 100 times the value of the entire space industry. In 2020, COVID killed 1.9 million people, and it was marked a catastrophe. We were locked in our rooms, away from our loved ones, screaming for help. What we didn't realize one year before, in 2019, AMR killed about 1.3 million people, and no one cared. So I plead, on behalf of millions of curses out there, we need to start taking actions, and we need to take them right now. This war cannot be won without you. So next time, you see an antibiotic, think and ask yourself, what will this cost in the future? Remember, there is another and more severe pandemic at our doorsteps. And it is our responsibility to protect ourselves and our loved ones. This time, it's going to take a lot more. I'm ready. Are you?